We have our board. Even though it doesn't look like a board, trust me, it's a board. And then we have all these tools we can use over here. We are going to use about 1 20th of the tools this has to do, this can do on what we are doing here, but it just shows how intense it can get. This is not a tool tutorial on how Aspire works. This is just how we are going to be doing it within this class. All right, so what we have here is called the import bitmap for tracing. So if we bring in a picture, we have to actually trace it for the vectors. We actually have to create the vectors for this thing, to mach this machine to read. So we can't just bring in a picture and go, there we go, let's go. We actually have to create the vectors for it to read. So the first step is bringing in the picture. So this is importing a bitmap. A bitmap is just a type of picture. It's more advanced, but still just a type of picture. So we're going to open it up, and I've already got it right here, where it says capture feather. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to open it. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring it in here. Now here it is. It's really small. It's not looking that great, so we can change that. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to double click on it, and that's going to allow me to adjust it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out and make it nice and big. And I'm also going to go and I am going to rotate it once we get in here. So I'm just going to bring it down in here. And then I am going to first make the vector. So I'll make the cutout. It doesn't matter if it's on there right now. We can fix that later. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the vector. All right. So now that I've got it off, it's okay. It can be off. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, and this is the trace bit mapping. So this is going to trace the picture and create vectors for it. So I'm going to click on this, and this tool comes up. Now, color, black and white, we always use black and white because most of the time what I try to do is bring in black and white pictures. It makes for tracing of bitmaps way more, way easier. If you have multiple colors in your picture, you can like fine tune the colors you want to accentuate when you're bit mapping, but we just go black and white. It's usually easier. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, I have to click on that to make sure it's reading it. So there we go. Color, bitmap, thresholds is fine. So what we like to do is we like to put bitmap fading all the way down to none. We don't want the bitmap faded at all. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to preview. Now, if you watch very carefully, when I hit preview, these sort of lines are going to show up. See these lines? These lines are the trace bitmap. Okay, this is the tr vector trace right here. So then I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit close. So now I have my vector here. So what I will do is I will click on the original picture and I'll delete it. And now I have my vector. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my vector. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rotate my vector so it's standing up and down because we want it to fill this entire piece. So then I can stretch my vector out, right? Move it around, I want it over here. There we go. So this is a good place to start. And then I'm gonna click off it, there we go.